Hello my friends and welcome back to our continue playing Let's Play Ace Attorney Dual Destinies for the PS5. My name is The Fightless Bird, this is your story based gaming channel and today we're finding some stuff. We have a pill that's very interesting. We have to figure out what's going on with that and what the doctor may be doing to this killer whale. At the same time we have to bring Rifle back to the lab, we have to go talk to Sasha. There's a lot going on here as we are in the midst of investigation day two. I hope you all having a wonderful, fantastic day today as we move to the show stage. It's July 21st, Ship Shape Aquarium. Looks really cool. Such a cool case. So this is where they hold this washbuckler spectacular, huh? Looks like the police are done with the work here. Hey, it's you liars! How could you let Sasha get wasted? I mean, didn't I ask you to take care of her? We're sorry, we couldn't prevent her from getting arrested. But as her lawyers, we'll do everything we can for her. Ah, how the dits. Sorry, get it, see it. Well, if there's anything I can do to help Sasha, you just say the word, all right? Marlin, you can trust him, Mr. Nick. I I'm gonna go do what I can too with this uh, forensic ink kit. <laughs> I I'm gonna go cover this whole era with forensic ink. She's so adorable. Well, that a girl, small fire. You can have free reign of this place. I want to check this place out, but I better talk to Mr. Rhymes too. Help me with cleaning. I hear you helped Sasha with the cleaning, Mr. Rhymes. Well, not really helped. I was just taking care of the orchid here while she cleaned. You know, Sasha felt bad for making all her stay up so late, so she asked me to give her a snack. It was a little bit less than one of meals, but she seemed satisfied. Oh yeah, and I also put oil on the transport stretcher too. Transport stretcher. See that hoist up there on the right? The stretcher can be suspended from it. This stage show is right next to the Orca pool room. And we uh, use the hoist to move the Orca or cargo between the two areas, you know? So the rail we saw in the Orca pool room runs all the way here, huh? Why? Did you like want to take a ride? I'm gonna take you for a ride. Uh-uh. Well, uh, I'm sorry, that's... Uh, when I hear that line, I think of... I think it was Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Uh, when you choose your fighter, it's like, I want to take you for a ride. It, there's like a song in the back on there. Anyway. I love that game. That was a great game. Area investigation, huh? Sounds good to me. No, no, that's okay. I like my investigations on Sweet Terra Pharma. <laughs> Well, actually, the horse can only be operated for the Orca Boo Oh, that's right. I remember seeing the horse control panel in there. It's like, I'm sorry, but I can't give a ride without somebody on the other end. No need to be sorry. Ooh, dodge that bullet. About the murder. If it wasn't Miss Buckler or Ola, who else could have killed Mrs. Shipley? Well, I know Sashi Dinesi. I'm not so sure about the orca. What? But we proved her innocent in court this morning. Well, yeah, but a few days ago, that orca attacked Sasha right here in the show pool. Well, I saw that orca take Sasha's body into her mouth and just, like, squeeze her chest. Her chest? They were probably practicing the lifesaver trick. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But Sasha was being crushed so bad, I mean, she couldn't even blow the whistle. I want to help her right away, but you know, look, I hate to admit it, but I, I froze. I, I, I'm a weak man. I, I can't protect anyone. I doubt there are many people who would put themselves against an orca. Well, anybody trying to talk her out of it, but sh she wouldn't give up on the practicing, man. We said all I could kill her. She said she trusted in that whale. Yeah. Well, everybody else seems to think Ola is a killer. How can you trust a creature you know that can't speak? Can't even know what it's thinking. 
But with orcas and dolphins, you can have communications of the heart. Alright, present. Well, I'm new here, so I know. And we had that already. Yeah, I keep forgetting that I could hold circle. I guess this is the seventh game. Yeah, eventually you realize I would realize that. But if you hold circle, it like skips through. And if it's text that we've already seen, it's just a really, really fast way to go through this. Well, that's Sasha's calendar. Sign it till you sooner. Well, I guess you're worried about Miss Buckler. It's understandable. I didn't know why she was supposed to meet with the uh, captain. But I know she definitely didn't kill him. She'd never do anything like that. We know that, and we're going to prove it in court. Well, if you miss it, I'm gonna write a rap dissing you too. And even before it comes out on the CD, I'm gonna play it all over this place. What does dissing mean? Oh, come on, Phoenix. To diss somebody means to insult them or to put them down. It's short for a disrespect. Ouch. Well, that's harsh. Mr. Rhymes, about this fish. Yo, I'm the master keeper, and the way you can beat me, you're a pro lawyer, but I am an amateur feeder. Y'all ready for a feeding throw down? Rifle, come on, it's time to defend the crown. Uh, uh doesn't look like rifle's coming. Yeah? I guess not, huh? Sorry about all that throw down stuff, then. I just wanted to show you the inner secrets of the animal feeding. There are inner secrets? Well, you know stuff like how to debone a fish. Great care goes into the animal's food. And then, of course, this is way of tossing the food to them. It's different for each one. I see. Sorry to have bothered you with mundane questions from the uninitiated. Oh, um, oh, what just happened? So we've already seen this. It's like one of the things is, you know, when you hold down the circle, if you've already seen it, it'll skip ahead. All right, oh, we've got everything that we need from him. So let's go ahead and examine. There does seem to be a left or right. So that kind of jerks up really, really fast there. Eek, there's a skeleton at it. Huh? Haha, <laughs> it's just a pop. Were you really scared? A little bit. By your screaming. Is this skeleton an enemy defeated by Ola's pirates? No, he's an informant named the Skeleton Kid. A dashing, spirited character. He's the friend of foe. So you're saying he's alive in the show? Hmm. Look at this pool. It's huge. So this is where they do the special spectacular. Well, yeah, the show pools the same depth as the orca pool. They practice the tricks in the orca pool and then do the real show right here. Are you interested in the swashbuckler spectacular? Oh, of course. I've only seen it on TV, though. Well, I'm new here, so I've never even seen it this once. Athena is a big fan. She watches the recording over and over. I love this show, In the Ocean. Standing here makes me feel like I'm at the beach. Especially with it open to the sky. You can even hear the sound of the surf nearby. Why don't you take a dip in the pool? Really? I can? In that case? Wow, what are you talking about? You can't swim here? We were just joking. Right. <laughs> uh, of course, I, I was just joking too. Don't tell me she was actually going to do it. I don't know about you, but that water looks absolutely incredible. Like, that would be a great thing to swim in. This galleon was in this Washbuckler Spectacular too, wasn't it? Look at that cute figurehead. It looks just like Ola. It is cute, but it also looks like a cannon. The enemy lets it go down, and then, blam! Very petty, don't you think? I thought Ola and Sasha were supposed to be the good guys. We should do the same thing at court. Lure him in, and then, blam! Present evidence. 
I don't think the judge would appreciate any blaming in his court. But I don't know. I mean, you got a guy with a sword and stuff. I mean, it's not... I mean, we had bird feet thrown at us. I mean, there's a lot of things that the, the judge allows in that court. Way too many things that judge allows in the court. We saw this same device in the orca pool room too, huh? Yeah, we used it to lift Ola when she was on the stretcher. In this show, Satcha makes a grand entrance by hanging from this thing. Oh, we should think of a cool grand entrance for us too. I've always wanted to burst into the middle of somebody else's trial with a loud BANG! I've always wanted to crash in through the ceiling. I bet that would really knock the socks off the judge in the gallery. Just what exactly was this girl learning while she was in Europe? <laughs> This slider only goes down to the surface of the water. Well, it's not like a public pool. Everybody who gets into this pool knows how to swim. Just like in the courtroom, it's sick of swimming there. I knew we could really get hurt. You know, like the last time in court, I could have really gotten injured. I was an inch away from getting attacked by a witness. Well, yeah, a trial with Apollo can be a pretty dangerous affair. Especially when you had that bird flying at you. This colorful sign. Did Miss Buckler make it? Wow, well, how did you know? Yeah, that sign is for the new show. Before she went to clean, she painted and left it here to dry. She told me to keep an eye on it while I was taking care of the orca. Huh? Isn't that the Skullvok there on the right? Mr. Rhymes, is the Skullvok a part of the set for the new show? Well, yeah, I guess so. If they were going to use it in the show, what's it doing in the orca pool? Let's go back update in the court record. A new pop show, a, a new show pub that was at the orca pool. The victim struck it when he fell. This sign is so eye catching with all those twinkling stars. Well, I think this was be like, you know, starfish. I mean, it's for the pirate show after all. Hmm. Few of them look more like leaves to me. Handmade sign added to the court record. A new. Uh, new Zuda, I signed Sasha made for the new show. It's been on left to dry since the early hours of the 20th. How's that evidence? Sasha put so much effort in making the sign for the new show. No wonder she was mad about what happened. Huh? I wonder what he's talking about. I better ask. We examined pretty much everything here, but... Well, let's just... Let's just double check. Yeah, we, we have explored everything. The new show. You say Miss Buckler was mad. Was it because of the new show? Egg, me and my big mouth? Okay, but you never heard it from me. Well, there was a rumor that the captain wasn't gonna let Sasha be in the new show. What? But why not? Well, I don't know. It's just a rumor. I don't know if it was true, you know? So Mr. Shipley was going to do the show all by himself? Flashback of Flyer updated. In advertising new show, it appears that Sasha was not slated to return. So there's a motive right there. He was cutting her off, so she lashed out at him. I can't imagine the show without Miss Buckler. It'd be like, where's the beef? <laughs> Is she trying to say it would be the bone? It would be like bones without any meat on them. Well, Sasha wanted to go back to the old Swashbuckler Spectacular. But now that the captain's gone, who knows what's gonna happen with the shoe? Uh, Mr. Nick, I, I found some peculiar fingerprints. Pearls? I must have got she's been for for Enza King before me all this time. Oh, uh, who's that? Who's what? Oh my god! What are you doing here? Prosecutor to Blackwell! What are you doing here? Exactly! I like what the protagonist has the same page. Please tell me he's not here to kill me. She has some business to attend to. Prosecutor Blackwell insisted, so I brought him along to get a little exercise. Is it business with us? Ah, no, not you. My business is with that animal keeper there. Marlon Rhymes. You will be a witness for the prosecution tomorrow. Ah, you gotta be kidding! Why would I want to do this if I can say shit? 
What you want does not matter. Now, come along. But if I leave, who's gonna like feed the Yorka? The other animal keepers are too scared to go near her now. Uh, um, maybe I can help? Uh, I'm concerned about Willa's health, and, and this way I can stay close and look after her. Uh, I can feed her and do a telecast too if you need me to. Uh, I'll do anything to help. Sounds like Pearls wants to do something nice for Ola and make sure she's okay. Small fire, are you tripping? You know that Arca is uh, dangerous, you know? Eh, I'll be fine. I'm just happy to help. Oh, but I don't have a TV phone. I, I won't be able to contact you if I have to do a telecast. Marlin, uh, may, may I please borrow yours? Huh, what? I sure is small fire and it didn't for you. Especially when, like, you're going out of your way to help like this. I don't know if I'm gonna testify, but I guess I can at least hear what the police have to say. Thanks for your cooperation. Now, justice will be served with a strategy meeting! Girl, come on, Mr. Wright. Let's get back to our investigation. Hmm. Hmm. How sad. The police have already investigated all there is to investigate. Your efforts are a waste of time. Nothing we do to try and save our client is a waste of time, Oscar Blackwell. Today, the Orca. Tomorrow, the were uh, mm, Sasha Buckler. You intend to save them both? Hmm, you say you believe in your clients. But isn't money really your true motivation? Why not admit you're only doing this for your own benefit? I could understand that much more readily than the empty righteous talk. Our own benefit, that's not why we're doing it. Now, Athena, let, try not to let him get to you. Alright, we should be all passing it back will in justice we trust! Gah. I've never been so insulted. Be right back. I need to get some water to wash away the anger. What was that? Uh oh. She had Puskin a black bull with that water. He doesn't seem to care though. It would have been funny if she threw the fish at him and it just stuck to his face and like slimed down. Hmm. Uh, I guess Puskers these days are more harsh, more about harsh monochrome than fancy frills. Oh wow. Wow. Throwing shade on Edgeworth like that. Oh wait, what about those peculiar fingerprints you said he found, Pearls? Hey, I'll tell you all about them. All right, peculiar prints. So tell me about this big discovery you made. Well, uh, I don't know if it's a big discovery, but... Uh, I found some odd fingerprints on the pole ladder over there. Okay, so what's so peculiar about them? You would find fingerprints on a ladder. Well, they're on the left side of the ladder, but they're right hand prints. Won't a person usually hold the left side of the ladder with the left hand? Plus, I think they were made from above by grasping the ladder with the right hand. Hmm, now that you mention it, that is strange. I wonder whose prints they are. I, I compare them with the prints on file, and um, they turn out to be Marlin's. How did he manage to leave Prince in such an awkward position? So, Mr. Nick, was I helpful? Yes, you were. Thank you very much, Pearls. I don't know if they're related to the case yet, but I'll keep them in mind. Okay, I like that a lot. I like that a lot, because... For, for a while now, Marlin has been saying how dangerous the whale is. And he's... Now there's evidence that points that Marlon may have been doing something suspicious. And that means that the obvious thing, which is Dr. Crab did it, may not be so obvious. This case just threw in a wrench and said, what if Marlon is the killer? And I love that. I love the idea that while I still think it's probably going to go the way of Dr. Crab... I like how there's now doubt about who actually did it. That's great. It's great. I love it. 
Hee <laughs> hee, I bet Detective Fulbright doesn't know about these prints. I imagine this search wasn't as thorough here as it was at the crime scene. You're probably right. I'm sure they checked everything at the actual crime scene. But I guess they can't do forensics on every inch of the rest of the aquarium. But we could, thanks to Burley. And now we have a new piece of information. Oh, you're embarrassing me, Athena. Aw, hi, Rifle. Hey, it's Rifle. We got to catch her. Ah, uh, don't worry. She's being a good girl right now here on my lap. Aww. Oh, I wish I was a pigmentologist. Haha, uh -huh. well, I'm glad she's found. I forgot we were looking for her, actually. <sighs> yeah, thanks again to Pearly. I think somebody's jealous. Well, uh, I think I'll just go talk to the staff about Orla. All right, good luck, Pearls, and thanks again. Well, I guess we're done with things here. What do you want to do next? How about if we have a plow check out our mystery evidence? Oh, that's right. We haven't done that yet. Good idea. Let's stop by the office. I wonder if, uh, if you did this earlier, would he have been here or would he not have been here and then he had to go do the other thing instead? July 21st, right? Anything I need to see. Oh, you're back. How was the investigation going? It's going pretty well, but there are still things we need answers to. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Uh, yeah. Well, let's talk about the investigation first. Would you like to help out with the investigation, Apollo? You bet I would. What do you want me to work on? Hmm, let's see. I don't actually have anything for him to do. Okay, and it's suddenly crickets. <laughs> oh, I know, boss. Let's have Apollo look at the evidence we collected. Good idea. You might know something that will help us win the case. Apollo, there's something I'd like your help with. You have work for me? What is it? Could you have this capsule checked out? I think it's some kind of medicine. Sure thing, Mr. Wright. I'll go to the hospital or something and have somebody take a look. Let's see. I'm pretty sure the closest one is Hickville Clinic. Good luck, Apollo, and thanks. I wonder if they'll let us see Sasha now. It has been quite a while. Let's stop by the detention center and see. We have something delivered to her, too, don't forget. We have a couple things delivered to her, don't we? July 21st, Detention Center. Visitor's room. Yeah, we have... We had to ask Mr. Dr. Crab as well and bring him to the lab, but we also have the calendar and the medicine. We still have the medicine? Yes, we do. All right, boss, chin up. We have to lift such spirits. Ha ha ha, I like your enthusiasm. Looks fun. How do you let her have a sword, guard? I mean, I know it's probably a prop, but still. Hoi there, me hearties. Thank you for coming. Ah. I be in good spirits. What are you not about me? Uh, she's trying to cheer us up. Got the music in the background, too. Aw, oh, and then it's gone. Well, that went over like a lead balloon. I, I was trying to make up for all of your trouble. Maybe the two of you need to take it easy? I guess they both had the same idea. We came to let you know that we can take on your defense, if you'll have us. What? Ah! Is something wrong? Why is she hiding from us? Prosecutor Blackwell said that, that you two would abandon me. But here you are to do my rescue. That's why I'm so happy. It sounds like she's crying back there. Uh, of course we want to abandon you. Ugh, Sasha, don't cry. Maybe the two of you need to take it easy. Great, now I've got crying in stereo. Okay, I'm all right now. Thank you for taking my case. We're glad to do it. Well, now that you're smiling again, we have a few questions to ask you. Uh, let's talk to her first, then we'll show evidence about the murder. On the night before the murder, did you enter the orca pool room alone? That's right. July 20th from 3 to 6 a.m.? 
I was cleaning and organizing. Captain and I were actually supposed to clean together starting at 4 a.m., but... Well, we got in a fight. Couldn't face him, so I went in an hour early and started cleaning. What does the orca pull from cleaning involve? Well, first we have to move the Orla to the stage so pool before we get started. Mr. Ryan's eventually took care of Orla in the stage show stage pool. Well, after Orla was moved, I drained the pool and rearranged the equipment and the props. And did the captain ever show up? Poor him came and went, but he never showed. But he was mad at me. I wish I'd apologize to him instead of being all prickly and angry like a scorpion fish. Orla. I'm glad we could prove Ola's innocence, but we didn't know you would get arrested. Ha ha ha! As long as Ola is safe, I'm happy! I'm so glad I found you too. You guys are the best! I'm glad you found us too. You're the best, Sasha. Never imagined Ola's tricks would ever be used to commit a crime. Yeah, I know, that's so fortunate. Could you tell us more about the lifesaver trick? Yeah, sure. Well, there's a little speaker on the captain's clothes and on the training dummies. The loud speaker can emit sound waves. When a trick command is issued with a whistle, Orla uses sound waves as a guide to find the person that she's supposed to rescue. I see. Does anybody else know about how the trick works? Well, the entire crew knows about it. But it takes quite a bit of practice to be able to command the lightsaber trick. It wouldn't be so easy to do for anybody who wasn't a trainer. And that's why they suspected Sh Sasha. An Orla can only perform one trick per signal. In other words, she can't perform two tricks at the same time. Crystal updated in the court record. Orla performs one trick per signal. She can't do two at the same time. Wait. So she can't do the singing trick and the life saving trick at the same time? So what was that song, Mr. Plumhard? Oh, Mr. Knight, I just remembered. We have something to return to Sasha. Oh yeah, you're right. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I got it, I got it, I got it. You gotta get Sasha item, um, yeah. Basically give him both her items, we got that. Uh, present, let's start with the calendar. This is your calendar, isn't it, Sasha? Huh? No, mine's at the aquarium. Yeah, well, Mr. Rhyme said he found this one in the nap room. Huh. I didn't think anybody else at the aquarium used a calendar like that. The owner of this calendar had a meeting scheduled with the victim. This mystery person might be the killer. We better find the calendar's owner. Wait, that's not hers? Turns out this meeting doesn't... This doesn't belong to Sasha. Huh. I thought that was definitely hers. Sorry, see, Pitch is the only things I know anything about. Oh, wait, 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 what was it? Uh, the Met. Oh, this. Sorry. Detective Fulbright asked us to give you this medicine. Ah! That beard second baggage had the spine to send me a gift. <laughs> oh, I, I love this case. This is a great case. Dead pirate new stash. Don't say in the gate with like a weak little minnow, have at ye. Oh, a real swash of good battle. Ah, if it be a fight you want, a fight you shall have. Could you two please not drop in this show mode out of the blue? Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, I'll take that medicine. She's acting kind of funny. What is the medicine for, by the way? Ugh. Well, I guess I can't keep it a secret from you two. I, uh, I suffer from a heart condition. Oh, it really is hers. I thought maybe that might have been the whales, and then the medicine got switched with them or something. A, a heart condition? Then you better get to us with a right away. Take it easy, Athena. She's in detention, remember? Ah, don't worry. It's not as serious as it sounds. They can fix it with sugary. Not serious. A heart condition is a heart condition. Don't tell us not to worry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Captain was just as mad at me the day before yesterday. 
We both got so worked up at one point. It was like a shark shark situation. I wonder if that's why you didn't want her to do the show. Because it was concerned about her health. Ooh, that sounds scary. You mind if I ask more about that fight? Ready, reason for the fight. Why were you arguing with Mr. Shipley? The captain knew about my heart condition. He was worried about me. So he said he wanted to put me in the new show. Yep, that's exactly what it was. See, I'm not in the new flyer. Oh, you're right. It's just Ola in the adversary. Red stash. I was so upset and frustrated. I, I was still crying when I went to do the cleaning. And I cried for quite a while before I drained the pool too. But then, you know what? Well, it did a trick to try and cheer me up. She acted out the scene where she defeats the giant octopus but spiked the ball at it. She spiked that ball so hard, she even ended up breaking off one of the octopus's legs. What a dramatic way to cheer up her friend. Sweet. So that's where we argued. But she wasn't going to put me in the new show. But I was determined to be in the show yesterday. It was July 20th to see the anniversary of the death of the trainer before me. Azura Summers. What if she's not really dead? That would be awesome. That would be like a just absolute insane twist. Uh, it. I mean, it, it it's possible, I, I guess? It still would be an insane twist, though. Or what if we find out that Noma de Plume's last name is actually Summers, and Noma is the, the sister of Azora, and so she's trying to create all this mess as revenge because she blames the aquarium uh, for killing her sister? Or what if Sasha is the sister of Azora? That could be a thing. Although I don't know how that helps me. I mean, maybe she was trying to honor her sister's death. Nah, they look, they look so different. Nah, I mean... I don't know, they're kind of similar. I mean, their hair is completely different. But, I mean, their eyes and their mouth... Uh, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. I'm just throwing stuff out there. The person Norma de Plume wrote about in her book. I wanted to explain to her audience that it was an accident, not a murder. Well, that's why I wanted, that's why I needed to be in that show so bad. So during the cleaning, I moved the school of Ark to the Uakapu. What? But why? I was a key prop. Figured the new show would go on without it. Thought they'd be forced to switch back to the old show. Wow, that was pretty extreme. And now we know why the Ark was there. Go rock updating the court record. Moved from the show pool during clean time. The victim struck when he fell to his death. What if Marlon moved the rock to help Sasha out? So Sasha moved the skull rock to the orca pool at the time of the cleaning. And if there's blood on that rock, well then that must mean the victim's death occurred after the rock was moved. Around what time did you finish up the cleaning? It was about 6 a.m. So that places suspicion on whoever met with the victim after 6 a.m. So whoever's calendar that is, is probably the murderer, essentially. Azura Summers. So Azura Summers was a trainer before you? That's right. She was a year older than me. She taught me all about how to command Ola. I bet Azura and Sasha were like sisters to one another. She was the one who taught me the signals for the signaling, for the singing, and the lifesavers tricks too. After she died, so on this charm. Vow to become a great trainer someday, just like Azura. What is that charm? It's a keepsake to remember Azura by. She always wore it. She told me that once she and her boyfriend had matched charms. I never found out who he was, so I couldn't give this one to him. But I had it ever since. You're keeping the memory of Miss Summer's life. Or, what if Marlin... No, Marlin's new. Never mind. I was going to say, what if Marlin was the boyfriend and he's doing this all to get back at the people who he thinks got his girlfriend killed it could be dr crab but dr crab looks i mean not going to say an old person can't date a young person but he looks a lot older than her um so it just seems less likely 
Not impossible, just less likely. Uh, do, 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 do. Captain in Azura? Mmm. Wanna have the same weight. Anyway. You give me the memory of Miss Summer's life. Captain always carried around a memento of Azura, too. A walkie talkie. Huh? Did the victim have a walkie talkie on him? Maybe I should show Sasha the victim's photos and see what she has to say. The victim's photos. The victim didn't appear to have a walkie-talkie with him at the time of his death. Huh? I talked to the captain of walkie-talkie before I started the cleaning. But there's no walkie-talkie shown in these crime scene photos. I don't understand it. The captain always kept that walkie-talkie with him. Maybe the culprit took it away. Hmm, maybe. But what would be the point of that? I had better organize the data I have on the victim in the court record. Shibley's autopsy report and photo of the body consolidated. Cool. Captain always kept the walkie talkie by his side. It was the walkie talkie as it was used right up until it did. Orca kills his trainer. In the middle of the show, the orca bought his up to the surface in her mouth. She left tooth marks in the Azura's walkie-talkie. Captain said he always kept a walkie-talkie with him, so we never forget. So if we find a walkie-talkie with, like, bite marks on it. So the walkie-talkie was really important to the victim. But, you know, now that the captain's dead too, I'm the only one left to can protect Orla from the ship's doctor. Protect Orla from the ship's doctor? I wonder what Sasha means. The ship's doctor. What did you mean by protect Ola from the ship's doctor? You know, Hermit Crab? Oh, look at the penguin. Looks like he's ready to fight. <laughs> Ever since the accident a year ago, he's been completely different. When Azura died, he said he was going to euthanize the orca. Before that, he always used to say that euthanizing animals was a despicable act. Or well, maybe there is some credit that he was the boyfriend. Euthanize the orca? But well, that's horrible. He all thought that Azura's death was the orca's fault. Nobody believed in her but me. The ship's doctor was just poisoned to euthanize the orca with on hand. And if Ola had been pronounced guilty in yesterday's trial, he would have used it. He was going to put it down right away? The ship's doctor was close to both the captain and the Azura, you know. I think he hates Ola. I guess we better look into Dr. Crab a little more. Boss, let's go see Dr. Crab. I was just thinking the same thing. We have a lot of questions to ask him. July 21st, Ship Ship Aquarium. Pub o' Danger. Oh, it's Pearls. And Rifle. What are you two doing here? Uh, Rifle came in here, so I followed her. Oh, that's right. We were supposed to deliver Rifle to him. I completely forgot. Oh, Rifle. God, what are you doing? Stop that! Uh, you silly mother penguin. What if you injured my spectacular genius brain? The Dr. Crab? Are you all right? Huh? Oh, it's uh, you people. I see, but Rifle for me. Uh, Rifle was really laying into you. Well, she hates me because she thinks I took her baby away from her. Aww. Aww, so cute. Gee, Rifle looks so happy. Is she actually playing with Sniper? Aww, can we have a TV show of this? Like, can I just make an anime episode of just this case. I know there was a Ace Attorney trilogy. Um, well, there was an Ace Attorney anime based off the first trilogy, right? I still haven't seen that yet. But can I just have a, a an episode off this one case? I, I would love it. Yay! Stop all this cacophony! The biological parent and the caregiver parent locked in the circle of the child. <sighs> 
Uh, do you think you can hold this little mother penguin down for me? Uh, all right, I will try. Aww. Um, what are you doing? I think Rifle just threw something up. Oh, I'm getting food for Sniper out of Rifle. Mother penguins, they suck up the food for the babies in their stomachs. They break it down in there so that it's easy for the baby to eat. Wow, you sure know a lot about the animals. Now you're trying to pick a fight with me again, aren't you, young lady? But yes, I know a lot about animals. I am a licensed veterinarian. Hmm, Rifle certainly is in a bad mood, even for her. Hey, little guy. Rifle's condition. Is Rifle okay? Hmm, hold on, I'm a chickener now. Well, the girl in the strange outfit, could you turn Rifle over on her back, please? Uh, all right. Rifle, I'm just going to turn you over, okay? Ooh, what's what? What's what's on the... Hmm, what's this? The bottom of your feet are uh, pink. Oh no, what kind of sickness is that? I had, we, do we have to get to, to a doctor? He is a doctor, Athena. Athena, get a hold of yourself. Dr. Crab is a veterinarian, remember? Exactly. It's just something she saved him by the looks of it. It's her stomach, that's the, uh, the problem. There's still something in there. Hmm, here we go. Hmm, it looks like she swallowed something odd. Well, I know the penguin will eat anything, but where did she pick up something like this? That's the, uh... That's a special, um, charm. Son of a gun! I'll have to talk to Marlin about her care. Dr. Crab, may we see what is in my first stomach? Uh huh? Well, please be quiet, I'm busy right now. Busy? But you're just staring at that weird machine. Well, I'm checking to see when a rifle ingested this uh, foreign object. He just keeps looking at that machine. He wants to make glitz away. Now I'm really curious to know more about his monitoring system. Monitoring system. Could you tell us about the monitoring system you have here? Well, it's a collection of uh, electronic and medical records of the creatures here. With this system and the camera footage, I can monitor the creatures 24 7. I won't tell you any more than that, it's private company business. But medical records are usually just a history of past medical exams and data. I never heard of any that could monitor 24 7. Eh? It's a good point, Mr. Lawyer. I can see there's no fooling you. But why would you want to fool me? Whoa! We have something. This guy is going to be a tough nut to crack. Uh, I have my reasons. Let's do the other stuff first. The charm. Huh? This looks like the charm Sasha had. Dr. Crab, do you know anything about this charm? Charm? Hey, leave it alone. That belonged to Azura. What was Azura's charm doing in rifle stomach? That's odd. But Sasha was telling us about the charm earlier. Sasha said that she had Azura's charm. But that charm is still at the detention center. Hey, wait a minute. Didn't Sasha say Azura and her boyfriend had matching charms? So this second charm must be the one that belonged to Azora's boyfriend. Dr. Crab, is it possible this charm belongs to Azora's boyfriend? I refuse to talk about such personal details and see it's such a clue. Uh, alright. Sure is touchy when it comes to Azora. Charm add to the court record. The discovered in rifle stomach belong to Azora Summer's boyfriend. Azora Summers. Yesterday was the anniversary of her death, wasn't it? Uh, that's right. She was killed by the Orca. Do you really think Orla killed her? I, I, I don't believe it. Uh, who can say the Orca did it on purpose? But the fact remains that, yeah, she killed Azura. I was right there, the day or death a year ago. I saw the Orca bite uh, Azura with my own eyes. But, is that really the whole truth of what happened? 
I guess only Ola knows what really happened both a year ago and this time. Let's show him evidence first. Well, that champ, Zuu is wood, meant a lot to him. Azora Summers, the trainer who died a year ago, right? Was Miss Summers special to you, Dr. Clapp? Hmm, I know what are you talking about? Oh, I'm sorry, I just said I such a hit of romantic feelings. Uh, she was my co worker. There's nothing more than that. But now, if you uh, ask me any more in any questions, I will lose my patience. Sorry about that. Uh, I guess I touched a nerve. It seems everybody here at the aquarium loved Azura Summers. Hmm? Don't waste my time with useless nonsense. I'm sleepy, I tell you. You won't even glance at it. Okay, now we have the failure state. So this will allow us to go really fast. Nothing about the capsule. Well, we're not supposed to show him the capsule, right? Still, you would think, like, some of these things, he would have something. Son of a gun! How could you die before fulfilling your promise to me? Mr. Shipley promised you something? Well, he promised you would make Ship Ship Aquarium the greatest aquarium in the world. It was because of that promise I agreed to become the resident vet here. So you were just a regular veterinarian before this? Well, that's right. Big or small, there is no living creature I cannot treat. Would you like me to examine you? What? You can't treat people too? You're amazing, Dr. Crab. I was just joking, of course. Oh, you walked right into that one. Gah! You're awful, Dr. Crab. Okay, so that makes him amazingly awful. That was Shipley's data. You don't want to press the wrong button. Nothing on the calendar. Oh, the fish. All right, uh, let's check our to-do list. Find the calendar's owner. So it's possible that there may be something else that we have to do here, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if we can suss this out. The mind trade system. I want you to tell me more about the mind trade system here. Uh, you don't let up either, do you, Mr. Lawyer? Uh, they're just electronic medical records and feeds some security cameras. With these, I can monitor all the animals 24-7. And I say that's not true. I have proof that you can't monitor the animals 24-7 with this system. Proof? 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 Um... Proof that you can't monitor the animals 24-7 with this system. Can't monitor the animals 24 system. The Ryans, there's something about them. A new shine made. Mysterious capsule. Go to the bottom of the pool. I mean, now this, now this is like I could have sworn we just talked about this, where we talked about um, we talked about the fact that he couldn't examine everything, but. Chibli walk the talk has been found. Do I not have the evidence I need? I think I have enough evidence. 
Okay, so he basically says we do have enough evidence, but then Then what is it? The mind hearing system. He's like, you know, 24 7. I have proof that says you can't monitor this system with this. Is it the. the walkie talkie? Take that! This evidence that you can't monitor the animals 24 7. The only thing the evidence proves is that you are mistaken, Mr. Lawyer. I guess I got it wrong. I still say it's not true. I have proof that you can't monitor the animals 24-7 with this system. What am I doing wrong? Look for something that has a time attached to it. That's, that's not it though. That's something completely different. Take that! Something completely different. I don't have a health bar anymore, which is nice. You can't monitor them 24 seven because security force doesn't start till 10 AM. Right. Take that! Okay. I was worried there for a second. <laughs> I was worried there for a second. I was like, am I going crazy here? Because my brain was thinking that we just talked to him about his security system, so there must be something we just talked about. For some reason, I didn't even think about what we already had. The security camera says we can record until 10 a.m. That's the case. How could he possibly monitor animals 24 7? Okay, you got me. I guess that was a pretty weak explanation. You're right, I guess I can't monitor the animals 24-7. But if I see anything unusual on the camera feeds, I can usually spring the action right away. If I can examine an animal, I can usually tell what's going on with them. Wow, he's really confident in his abilities. But I still say you can't do that 24-7. But I'm here at the aquarium most of the time. Now I can go any anywhere at any time to examine an animal. Anywhere? I say that's not true either. I have proof that there's a place you can't go. Right, uh, I know this one because because only Sasha and the captain could go to the uh, uh, to where Ola was because you need a special um, key card, right? This right here. Only the victim and Sasha have one. Right, I know this one. Take that. Okay, got totally flustered on the first one, rebounded on the second one. The only people who have access to the orca pool room are the owner and Sasha. So how could he say he monitor all the animals? <laughs> I want that mask. Send him a gun! So you knew about the security card, did you? That was great. Sniper's the best. Rifle's the best. I love this family. I want to adopt that entire penguin family. Yes, uh, tighter security was imposed on uh, the one orca a year ago as a precaution. But due to Sasha's objections, I wasn't allowed to have a card. I guess she was trying to protect Ola from him. So you might turn the animals with a system that's private company business. But I have to insist you tell me about this monitoring system. Well, now you're trying to pick a fight with me, huh? Well, very well. I suppose it's only fitting that the supposed go to the victor. I'll tell you about Ship Shape Aquarium's ecological data organization system. So what does that machine you were using do? Well, it's a system of ecological data organization developed in Europe. I call it the Torpedo. What do you think? It's a pretty impressive name, isn't it? Torpedo? As in men the battle stations and all that? I think it's a cool name. No, no, it's the name I gave this data organization system. Torpedo stands for 
Detail observation, real time, pertinent data organizer. Okay, but is it super admin restricted desktop access password protected? S P A R D A Sparta. Sparta. I I I I, I, I that that's from that one case, right? I forgot which one it was, but there was a case where there was, you know, um, the, the computer techie. Is that the one with Armstrong? I don't know. Might be. The torpedo collects data through sensors placed on or near the uh, subjects. Temperature, heartbeats, localization, etc. Gathers this information about 24 hours a day. All this data is then sent to my terminal and these monitors. Wow, this torpedo sounds amazing. Does my flavor sit on it too? Yeah, she does. We have what kind of sensors attached to pins on the animal. Penguins have theirs attached to the ID tag at the base of the flip. Torpedo doesn't tell me where rifle is when she escapes, though. It's hard to attach sensors to the orc or fish, so those are on the tanks and sails. Places where the creatures don't normally live, like the show stage, don't have sensors. Okay, so here we go. It's telling me the time rifle swallowed the foreign object. Approximately, uh, 4 a.m. on July 20th. Huh, what a weird time. That was when Sasha was doing the cleaning. Maybe that's why she wouldn't take my fish, because she was full from the night before. But at least Ola ate it, so that's okay. Ola eats another animal's food? That's odd. I mean, she's never done that before. And then she had an episode, too. I better take a look at her data. Huh? She didn't eat anything from the evening of the 19th to yesterday afternoon. So Rifle had a late night snack, but Ola went hungry, huh? It appears so, but let's see. She's been uh, eating normally since yesterday afternoon. Come to think of it, I think you just stole my line. I mean, I stole your line, but whatever, it's okay. Jack was supposed to feed Ola yesterday morning. Maybe he died before he had the chance. I'm worried about Ola's condition. I better remember this torpedo data. Torpedo data added to the court record. Torpedo data shows that rifle ate around 4 a.m. on July 20th, but that Ola didn't eat anything. Hmm, I still wonder why you wouldn't tell me about the torpedo. Why had the torpedo? Dr. Crab, why did you want to hide the existence of the torpedo system? Well, it's the safe system that has been approved for use in other countries. But it hasn't been legally approved in this country yet. That's why I always carry this terminal around with me. It's not something I want the police poking their nose into, you know? You mean, you're breaking the law? Uh, which is why I was keeping this secret, adult. And we create a problem for the aquarium. I had Jack's permission. Felt the animal's care was more important than the legality. But we wanted to shield the rest of the staff. So we kept it a secret lie. But breaking the law is breaking the law. But uh, in some cases... Lies can be saved by breaking the law. We simply allow the lives of our animals to be lost, or wait for laws to change. Ugh. Now you're twisting things around. I'd like to use this evidence during the trial tomorrow. But it may result in you and Shipshape Aquarium being brought up on charges. Well, I follow my own convictions. I have no regrets. You're only doing your job. Can't blame you for that, Mr. Lawyer. I appreciate that. I really hope he's not the killer. I think he's a pretty cool dude. And he loves penguins. So, I mean, that's awesome. But that means that Marlin is the number one suspect if he's not. I hate to say it, but I'd rather have Marlin be the murderer than Dr. Crab. I really like Dr. Crab. And also, that would be amazing because I've been suspecting Dr. Crab the entire time. But so, for it to not be him would be pretty dang cool. Aww. What's that sound? Another penguin? <sighs> well, that's my ringtone. Gee, Dr. Crab sure likes cute things. Maybe you wanted to sound like Sniper. Hello? Crab speaking. Son of a gun, you people again? Stop harassing the aquarium. Although it's found not guilty. Why on earth should she be put down? 
Huh? Come there on the 26th and explain? Fine, right, just let me write it down in my, uh... Son of a gun, where did my calendar go? Oh, it's his calendar. So now the needle points back to him. His calendar? Are we talking about that calendar? I realize that. If it comes to that, I'll use the drug to euthanize her. Huh? Well, Mr. Wright, he used to said euthanize her. We better ask him more about this. I should try presenting that calendar to him, too. Euthanasia. Who was that phone call from? Son of a gun. Heard that? Who didn't hear that? I was the center for the dangerous animal control, calling with the demand. They say that Yorka may have been found not guilty this time. For that, if she ever attacked a human again, we'd have to put her down. Put her down? But that's horrible. Did you agree to the demand? Mm, animals sometimes do attack humans. Well, and of course, humans sometimes do kill animals to protect themselves. If it comes to that, well, yes. As a veterinarian, I am prepared to carry out the euthanization. Using this poison, it's the three Z's. Huh? That capsule. It has the same letters on it as the one that was in Orla's stomach. Did Dr. Crab try to kill Orla? No. Oh, that was getting good. Dr. Crab, isn't this your calendar? Huh? Yes, it's mine. What are you doing with it? Mr. Rhymes found it in the nap room. Mr. Rhymes found it. Oh, I must have forgotten that there when I tried to get some rest. It's yours a cute calendar. I guess you're crazy about penguins. Somebody gave it to me, okay? Now please, don't tell anybody about it. It's embarrassing. As they were designed this calendar. This one here is a prototype. She designed a calendar for this year, and then she died before it went on sale. Were you and Miss Summers, um, romantically involved? Wow, just go up front and ask them. What? What gave you that idea? Well, it's just that I sensed a sadness in your heart when you talked about the calendar. Of course, you weren't romantically involved. I don't believe romantic feelings. It looks shaken, though. By the way, did you meet Mr. Shipley at 7 a.m. on July 20th as scheduled? Uh, no. We were supposed to meet, but uh, Jack didn't show up. Is that really true? Sasha finished playing the orca pool room at 6 a.m. If Dr. Crab managed to get in the pool room somehow and meet with the victim, then he would have had the opportunity to kill Mr. Shipley. Kind of updated in the court record. Uh, with, uh, Crab, yes. Please let me ask you one more question, Dr. Crab. Uh, what is it, Mr. Lawyer? And you look so brave. I heard something disturbing from the writer Norma de Plume. The center demanded that the aquarium put the killer down a year ago. Put, put her down? But the aquarium owner refused the demand, saying it was an accident to death. But I hardly think a persistent organization like that would just give up and go away. I'm quite sure the power of money helped convince them. What makes you think that? Once a month, the owner and the vet disappear from this aquarium. And I came to find out that each time a large amount of money was being paid out. I think Shipshape Aquarium might be keeping some kind of secret. And it has something to do with the recent murder. <sighs> Another psych lock? Oh my, oh my god! What? Five Cyclops? That writer just has to stick her nose into anyone's business. Son of a gun. Should have dealt with it all more clearly. How am I ever going to remove all those locks? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that, huh? What's that? Oh, you. Sorry, do I interrupt? I'm pausing to back cool ones, Dr. Crab. Detective Fulbright, I'm busy here. Are you again? Can I possibly have any more questions for me? Well, you see, we're having a little problem. We were going to call the animal keeper as a witness for the prosecution. 
But he's being very stubborn and refusing to testify. And so, we thought we asked you to be a witness in tomorrow's trial. Hmm. Did you really know? Well, I'm not taking sides. I'll tell you what I know. No more, no less. That would be fine. Now, if you would please come along with me. Well, it looks like we'll have to continue our talk at the trial tomorrow. I don't know what secret you and this aquarium are hiding, but I'll uncover it if it'll help me save Miss Buckler. I'll give it your best shot, then. I'll see you tomorrow, kid. What about all the cyclops? What are we gonna do with those? Well, it looks like we'll be going up against Sector Cab into best tile. I bet he'll be one tough customer. Okay, we better get the evidence organized for tomorrow. I'll have Athena hold on to evidence. I don't think I'll need it. Court. Evidence has been reorganized. Cool. Da, da, da. Aw, I was listening to that. Hello? Mr. Wright, I want to take for a clinic. Uh, Apollo, use your indoor voice. So sorry about that. Anyway, I found out a lot, so I want to tell you right away. It turns out that that mysterious capsule is a powerful sleeping drug. Now, euthanasia drug? Apparently, the brand name is 3Zs. Okay, yeah, it says 3Zs right on it. Okay, that makes sense. And they said the ship shape aquarium vet recently bought a large quantity from them. The vet? Dr. Herman Crab? 3Zs is supposed to be for people. But Dr. Crab told them it will work on other MLs like orcas and dolphins too. So Dr. Crab's euthanasian poison is actually sleeping pills? When Ola almost drowned today, is it because she'd been given sleeping pills? Yeah? Three said sleeping pill update in the court record, but no one would know that she's being drowned. Hmm. Strange capsule has found in Ola's stomach. It's a sleeping pill, not some kind of poison. And I found out more than just about that capsule. Dr. Hilfo himself gave me some information. Chip Shape Aquarium had someone on their staff named Azura Summers, right? Well, yeah, the one who died a year ago. Well, Azura Summers was getting a certain medication from Hick for Clint last year. The same heart medication as Sasha Buckler. What? Really? Azura Summers had the same heart condition as Sasha? Nice work, Apollo. Thank you. We'll be coming back to the office soon. Okay, Tracy and I will be here. Well, we better get back to the office and get ready for tomorrow. What are you going to do, Pearls? Uh, I thought I'd stay overnight here and be with Ola and Rifle. Uh, I'll be ready for a telecast during the trial tomorrow. Good luck to both of you. Thanks, Pearly. That way, when we prove Sasha's innocent, we she can see Ola right away. I want to spend the night with a penguin. I'd love to see Sasha and Ola back together again. Both free and clear. But before that can happen, I had to prove Sasha's innocence. To be continued. All right, well, good timing. I, I need to stop anyway. Uh, yeah, this, this is going great. I, I love this so far. A, a lot of good questions being asked. I don't know really where it's going, and uh, I could see this go many different ways. I, I love you all so very much. Thank you for everything. Y'all are the number one YouTube comedian on all of YouTube, and you're just so amazing and so incredible and so awesome. And I hope you have a day that is just as amazingly awesome as you. Go make today something to remember. Or just make it something that you will remember for being awesome. Whether that's sleeping in, going outside, meeting with friends and family. Just have a great day. Uh, and I'll see you again very soon on a blind let's play of Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. Until then, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.